Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today I want to share with you another project using my Icon Art lamp. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because it's gonna be in our booth at Creativation. We've got a giveaway there. So if you're at the show, come see us with booth 1718. And if you can't be at the show because it is trade only, you know we're gonna have all of the media coverage. We are the official media partner. We'll be on the show floor from Wednesday. So you'll be able to see all sorts of really fun things going on. But if you didn't see my last project with this, you can go check it out. I've got an Icon Art playlist, but it's super simple to use. So this is what the lamp looks like here. Um, it also gives you this piece of poster board. And the reason you want to use this is to lower reflections. So when we're using it, we're gonna make sure that that's on there. And then you just plug it into an outlet. Now, as soon as you plug it in, you're going to find it comes on. So let's do that. And it's a UV based light. So it's really, really easy to use. I'm gonna share with you how um, easy it is to make your own custom stencils at home. So what you do is you print out your design on their special paper. If you're using words, be sure to flip them. This is the side I actually printed on, you see it's back to front. And you can get laser paper or you can get inkjet paper. Be sure to order the paper that you want. You can check out all the links in the description below. This is laser, because that's what I have. And then you want one of their special stencil sheets like this. So it'll be plain blue when you get it glossy side goes to the bottom a textured side matte side to the top you pop your uh, design on top and then you put this special uh, film on top and you're going to place it under your lamp for 30 seconds that's it then you're going to go and you're going to wash off your stencil as you wash it you'll see your design come out and then you're going to gently blot it dry either leave it to dry or gently use a heat tool if you're using a heat tool be super careful and um, to dry it off and then we're going to pop it back under the lamp for around about 45 to 60 seconds now you don't necessarily have to do this step but this will make your stencil more durable which is why i like to do it um, when you're washing it, they also give you a special clipboard so you have something to, you know, really wash against and get that pressure because a little bit of pressure in the tap will help you get the perfect result. So that's why I put it on here when I'm working. And now we get to put it on our substrate. And I love making my own stencils. I often include them in our subscription box and I use them for all sorts of things from home decor to pretty much anything. So today we're putting it on a canvas, something slightly different. Last time we did a t-shirt and an apron. And on this canvas, I've already painted it with acrylic paint and splattered some white, silvery white over it to make it look like a night sky background. And then we're gonna add our stencil on top. And what I will do once it's dry is I will just add a coat of Mod Podge or you could use a spray varnish, something like that, over the top. So I'm just gonna peel this off, or try to anyway. Um, you just wanna peel off your glossy backing and this is gonna create a mesh stencil. So you can spray through it, you can use paint through it, you can use it for screen printing, all those kinds of things. And it's completely reusable, which is the best part. So once you're done, you're gonna go just like this and you can see your design on there and it's slightly tacky too. So it's gonna stick in place, which is something I really like. Plus you can get any kind of, you know, lumps and bumps and air bubbles and things out of it and even with the, the film you can see when I'm filming on the top there it's kind of got some ripples that's because of the texture in it so that's how you'll know you have the right side up when you're creating and I'm going to use this treasure gold paint from plaid and um, I already pre-shook it so hopefully we should be pretty good okay I'm just going to stick this over here and I'm going to put some paint down Probably a little bit more than I needed but the other thing is by using the scraper that comes in the pack you can then just put any excess back in the packaging too so I'm going all the way down and then what you can do is you can open up your bottle one-handed try not to over and then you can see I can just put all my excess back in and I'm lifting the stencil out to get it on my scraper. So you can see it's really a low waste technique as well. You don't want any bubbles like that. So just make sure nice and even on there. And I'll clean the rest off after the video. So I'm just gonna put this on the paper as well. And now we get to do the fun part. So if you just lift it up, 
and look how that looks. Isn't that super cool? I mean, it just looks amazing on there. I'm gonna add a coat of Mod Podge, maybe like a glitter or a shimmer in it slightly, just so it all kind of ties together and adds to that look and it's gonna seal everything in for me. But the great thing about the stencils is they're completely reusable. You can wash that one in the sink, scrub it, and then use it as many times as you want. It's still slightly tacky on that reverse as well. So lots and lots of reuses for them. I love making my own custom stencils. So many different things we can do. I've shown you shirts and aprons. This is a canvas tons of different things. Be sure to join us from Creativation, as I mentioned. We've got a giveaway of one of these. And if you've got the Hedgehog Hollow Box either this month or last month, you can still order them. You'll get a free sample of an Icon Art Stencil and an exclusive code in there for savings as well. So thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow in another tip trick tutorial or maybe something a little bit different. And of course, join us and hit subscribe for the channel and ring the bell for Creativation notifications plus all of our other videos. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Happy crafting. Bye.